In your health tonight, a study is underway that could improve the standard of care for Alzheimer's disease. Well, the focus is on brain images that might be able to help doctors determine if someone has Alzheimer's. News 8's medical reporter Jocelyn Mementa with more on what you need to know. Jocelyn. Anna Darren, it is a fairly straightforward study on a technology that has been used for years in research and it's going on right here in Connecticut. Researchers want to know if an image of your brain could be used as a diagnostic tool for Alzheimer's disease and eventually covered by insurance. An image of the brain. So this is a the nuclear PET scan could show the evidence doctors look for to better diagnose Alzheimer's disease. This is a positive scan. The scan means that patients have a significant am amount of amyloid buildup. That's significant, says neurologist Dr. Amid Sami. So there is new evidence that uh, over time the amyloid plaque buildup can lead to Alzheimer's disease. Patients could benefit from these images if the PET scan is made available as a diagnostic tool. That's the concept behind a nationwide study, the Imaging Dementia Evidence for Amyloid Scanning, the IDEAS study, which is looking for Medicare patients to take part. The PET scan has been primarily used in research. I hope the study will show the value of the PET scan in early diagnosis of Alzheimer's dementia so it can become part of the standard care. Dr. Sammy is an IDEA study dementia specialist who determined that 73-year-old Barbara Connor was an ideal candidate. Just what they call, oh, that's normal forgetfulness. But it was just getting to be a little bit annoying. The scan showed what Barbara wanted to know. Yes, and that's where they found the plaque that indicates dementia. She is now on medication. The purpose of the medicine is to postpone or to slow down and maybe just live out my life without being institutionalized. And to get her life in order. I think the whole purpose of knowing is that you can plan. To participate, you must be on Medicare, 65 years of age or older with ongoing memory problems or confusion with the cause not yet clear. For more information about the study, head to our website, WTNH.com.